I'd like to thank the members for their support of House Bill 498 to allow newborns to be screened for NKH. NKH is known as glycine hypencephalopathy, a severe and rare disorder. The condition impairs nervous tissue, including the brain, leading to symptoms such as seizures, breathing and feeding difficulties, muscle limpness and lethargy. This disorder usually becomes apparent soon after birth, but sometimes symptoms start to arise in later infancy or rarely in childhood or adulthood. It affects boys as often as girls. Unfortunately, the condition is not currently curable, though treatments help limit the severity of certain symptoms. Through ongoing research, scientists hope to develop better treatments for this devastating disorder. This le legislation was introduced last session by my predecessor, Representative Jerry Stern of Blair County, after a grandmother in our district, Penny Bruner, asked him to introduce a bill to add testing for NKH as part of the newborn screening profile. Penny's grandson, Miles, was a beautiful newborn that unknowingly suffered from NKH. Because it went undetected, he currently suffers from severe mental and physical disabilities. Penny has created a charitable foundation called Smiles for Miles to create an awareness for this disease. This legislation, without a doubt, will save lives for newborns who can be screened and treated for this disabling and life-threatening disorder. Thank you very much.